I work for the National Parent Partnership Network and my name is Martha Evans and um, we support the work of parent partnership services across England and our vision is that, um, sorry, thank you. So our vision is that parents and carers of children and young people with disabled children and children with special educational needs have access to high quality parent partnership services which are widely respected and are impartial sources of information, advice and support. So I'm sure you know what parent partnership services are. They're statutory services. They, have, they have offer advice and support to parents. Um, and uh, they're required to be impartial. So we have minimum standards that are set out in the code of practice, um, SEN code of practice. And uh, these standards are further developed in the exemplifications of the minimum standards, which I've got with me today. Um, and this uh, outlines what, what is good and best practice for parent partnership services. And this is, um, this is guidance that was developed with uh, the Department for Education. And um, parent partnership services differ greatly from authority to authority in terms of resources and budget. Uh, but we, are, we do benchmark them in our annual benchmarking report. And um, that outlines whether or not they're meeting good or best practice in certain areas and their characteristics. And you can find the benchmarking reports on our website for the past few years, so it might be useful to chart your own parent partnership services development. Um, so what does impartiality mean? So parent partnership services being impartial means that you're impartial of everyone. That's including local authorities, schools, educational ideologies and campaigns, and we don't prioritise impairments or disabilities over any other. Um, if you have any concerns about your own parent partnership services and partiality or the amount of resources that it has, uh, firstly talk to your service, then you could talk to the local authority and when you talk to the local authority do use these exemplifications to chart where, where your parent part you think your parent partnership service might be um, and, you can, and these are quite a good tool to use and you should use them with your parent partnership service um, and they're available on our website and I have got some copies with me today. Sorry, Alicia. Um, so what does MPPN do? Um, MPPN makes sure that parent partnership services know about changes to national policy and we do that in, uh, through using e-forums and sharing good practice in a quite similar way to what it sounds like happens with parent care forums. We really want to share good practice and make sure that we're all joined up together sharing what works well and what doesn't. Um, so we have a website for parents and for parent partnership services um, we support and encourage the development of parent partnership services. And in 2009, the LAM inquiry found that some parents didn't feel that their service was uh, impartial and uh, there was, it was recommended that there needed to be some training in SEN law. So uh, MPPN, in conjunction with IPSI, um, a charity that uh, give advice as well, developed some legal training for parent partnership services and so that was in 2010 and since then 80% of services have completed that legal training and we're trying to get that to 100% over the next couple of years. Um, so we do provide lots of training and uh, just support generally. So we are going to be doing some joint working with the National Network of Parent Care Forums um, and we've developed six draft principles and I've got them in a slide, but I don't think we've got time to go through them, but do look through them and let your regional rep know what you think of them. And we're hoping to use these draft principles to develop some joint training that we might be running in October. Um, and we've got a commitment in our contract with the Department of Education to put on this, this training in October. It's in the very early stages of development, but we'll be in touch with more details soon.